Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2022 Topps Chrome Black Baseball 12 box picker team number 15 coming at you. I'm breaking a lot of this. And we're down to our last case for the time being. We may have some more on the way, so just keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll try to get some more of this, I'm sure. Matthew got Last Pod Mojo Twins to close out the breaks. Thanks to him. Thanks everybody for making this happen. We did this straight, no filler. All right, and now let's get this into my paper stand here. There we go. Let's see what we have in here. Christian Yelich, orange, 23 out of 25. Howard with the Brewers. And your encase card, one encase card per box, is Pudge, Ivan Rodriguez, Rangers edition. And that will be Howard with Texas. Got the parallel, got the encase card, nice. A personal box for Howard. All right, next one. Mookie Betts, 109 out of 199 Mookie Betts. Allen with my Dodgers. And the encased card. I like that aqua parallel. I think I saw a rookie card sign. Rookie card badge. 10 out of 99. It's Joe Ryan, Minnesota, Matthew. Last spot mojo strikes again. It's a real sharp looking set. I hope we have more on the way. Keep your eye out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I mean, previous to this week, we actually hadn't had a lot of Topps Chrome Black. Pete Alonzo Blue and Francisco Lindor Purple. Teammates, 115 out of 150 on the Francisco Lindor. It's for Ed P. And Ed, your Pete Alonzo is 62 out of 75. Another rookie logo there. Rookie Juan Yepes. And that's for the Cardinals, and that's for Ed. Oh, I see. Well, I appreciate it, Matt. Matt's saying, hey, I only bought the Twins thinking that we had more cases to post so you can get the Cardinals, but rookie Joe Ryan, not too bad. I feel like, did Joe Ryan have a decent year last year? Is he who I'm thinking, is, is he? Man, he did actually. 355 ERA, went 13 and eight, 147 innings, 151 strikeouts. It's not bad. All right. You got Ryan Mountcastle and Julio Rodriguez, purple, 131 to 150. That's Michael Losey who picked up Seattle straight up.
Nice. Ryan Mountcastle, Ed P, Orioles. Also nice. Five out of 50. Encased. Is, no, almost revealed the name. It's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Taking it to the max. Allen with the Dodgers. Rough first half for him and then picked it up towards the end. Coming off that, remember that weird elbow injury he had in 2021? The end of that season, the last game of the season actually. I think he, he was playing first. There was a play at first and he caught it and he swung his arm out to tag the runner. The runner ran into him and it was at like a weird angle where, where his elbow kind of went back the other way. Had to have surgery and everything and then just didn't look quite right for the spring training in the first half of the season and kind of figured it out. Javier Baez, 149 out of 199. Detroit. It's going to be for Jacob. I feel like next month he should be back on track this year. A healthy offseason and then can go into the spring healthy. All right. We've got Casey Mize. Jacob with the Tigers, the former first overall pick. Tommy John surgery for him, unfortunately, last year. So he'll be recovering this year. So that's maybe one to, one to hold on to. That's right. Matt Max Muncy wants to be the best Max Muncy. He doesn't want A's Max Muncy outshining him. 24 out of 50, Seth Beer. Of course, Dodgers' Max Muncy was originally drafted by the A's, and the A's must have felt like they made a mistake. They're like, we got a chance at another Muncy? Jervon with the Diamondbacks gets the delicious, delicious Seth Beer. 64 out of 99. Your encased auto is Alan Trammell. Nice old-school Tiger going to Jacob. Back-to-back -back Tigers encased. He's heating up. He's on fire. All right, another box. All right, Giancarlo Stanton, Rodolfo Castro, and Nick Madrigal Gold, 28 out of 50. That's for Gervon and the Cubs. Gold uh, speckle, or maybe a mini diamond. I think this might, might be what they call it. I'll brush up on my parallels. All right, and we got Big Mac, Mark McGuire. Uh, that's for Howard and the Oakland A's. Mark McGuire uh, went, played Little League in the city Next to next to me. <laughs> not this, not when I was growing up. But Mark McGuire's a little bit older than me. Uh, but yeah, had Claremont. I grew up in Upland. He set all sorts of records. Not surprising. Got Wilson Contreras, Rafael Devers, O'Neill Cruz. That is for Daniel and the Pirates. 65 out of 199. All right, and we have Marcus Simeon, Texas. Howard with the Rangers. All right. Four boxes to go. I would assume so. I assume the whole McGuire family was in that, that Claremont area.
Christian Yelich, 123 out of 150. Purple, that is for Howard and the Brew Crew. Uh, the City of Claremont, I think you may not be anymore, but was the home of uh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg had a house up there that, that he regularly lived in. Chip off the old block, Chipper Jones, Tristan with the Braves. There will be some stories of, uh, I've never seen this happen, but there will be stories of every once in a while, they'll be like, yeah, we saw, we saw Snoop at Claremont High School. He was playing basketball with his buddies. Julio Rodriguez rookie card. George Springer and Brandon Marsh, 54 out of 99. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, if if a lot of people are shouting out uh, if a lot of people are shouting out uh, Claremont. Let's see. McGuire's born in L.A. suburb of Pomona, which is. Which has a, there's a big hospital in Pomona, so I feel like a lot of kids end up being born there in that area. Julio Rodriguez. Father was a dentist, attended Damien High School in Laverne, which is the private school. That's, that's in that Claremontish area. Is that considered Laverne? I guess it is. Where he played baseball, golf, and basketball, drafted in the eighth round by the Expos in 81, but didn't sign, then went to USC. Wow. He was a teammate of Randy Johnson, Jack Del Rio, Rodney Pete. Pretty nice. All right, and we got we got Super Futures, Josh Lowe, rookie auto, sixty seven out of ninety nine. Jeff with the Tampa Bay Rays. Mango Band yeah, we sure did. I, I mean, I personally didn't. Jason did on the Personal Breaks channel. That'll cover the cost of the box pretty easily, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Could have got all that Andrew in the same place. Well, the USC in the, in, the, in the early 80s, probably a hotbed of that. Hotbed. O'Neill Cruz and Corbin Burns to 99. That's for Howard and the Brewers and the O'Neill Cruz to the Pirates. That's going to be for Daniel. These are the one per case, if I'm not mistaken, the large logo rookies. All right, and your encased card. It's going to be gold to 50. Three out of 50, Miguel Cabrera, Miggy, for Jacob and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. All right, 12th and final box. Good luck. All right, hey, you're welcome. Oh, so, so you must be Jacob. Thanks for getting in, Jacob. Congrats. Nice Miggy. First ballot Hall of Famer. Easy. Talia Ramos. 42 out of 99. Maybe maybe a, maybe a 99 percenter, 99 percent of the vote. All right. And our last one, 25 out of 50 is Ryan Mountcastle. What a powerful name, powerful last name. Ed and the Orioles. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Like I was mentioning at the beginning of the break, unfortunately, no more to post. 
but I'm sure we should have more on the way. So keep an eye out on jaskyscasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next Top Chrome Black Break. Bye-bye.